On home diagnosis, we tend to compare your home with your body. The analogies are usually both interesting and true. So here's another good house body analogy. Your home breathes. It has a breathing apparatus. There are tubes called ducts carrying air around within your home's skin and to the outdoors, and a fan or a bunch of them powering that air, pushing and pulling it through the ducts. One way to describe a central duct system is like an octopus. The big air handler fan is the heart, and on one side is the supply ducts that push the air out, while on the other side are the return ducts that pull the air back to it. And thinking about a central duct system as an octopus is helpful imagery, but it's not the complete picture because the system, like all systems, is really a complete circle. Air is conditioned, pushed out, changed somehow, and pulled back in to be conditioned again. The space in the room between the supply registers and the return grills is an important part of the duct system too. When you look at it this way, you can start pushing and pulling air using the room arrangements as ducts. This is how we'll manage to never smell the litter box or toilet odors in this house, by being strategic about where the supply and return of air happens. The studio wing of this house is a long room with a bathroom at one end. And since you know we always need to pull air out of bathrooms, we designed the duct system in this room to pull all the rest of the air from that same end. And all the new air is pushed into the other end of the room. We'll basically have a weather front, moving air from one side to the other. Now we've turned the whole room into another tool to control the invisible dynamics of our home's performance. It probably won't happen by accident, so remember to plan ahead and design your systems wisely.